Coast, you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona, and maybe you've heard about Norterra. Whether you have heard of it or not, it is a beautiful and amazing place to live. I actually live there myself. It's an awesome area just north of Phoenix. So in this video, we're actually gonna take you around, show you, jump into the map, and actually show you around all the different areas, where it is in relation to everything else, how to get where you're going, and how to navigate everything all around the Norterra area and show you the best that it has to offer. If you actually wanna see what it's like living in Norterra, all the different homes, different prices, uh, the restaurant shops, all the best things to do, then go ahead and check out the vlog tour that we did on the channel a little while ago. We actually go through, drive through all the different neighborhoods, show you different homes at different price places, and kind of show you all the different things that Norteria has to offer kind of live and personal. So if you actually wanna see it, get a good feel for it, then go ahead and see the vlog tour. But in this video, we're actually gonna go back to the office, jump on the Google map and walk you through it. So we have a ton to cover, we have a lot to get to, so let's do this. your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Phoenix, Arizona and all the surrounding areas like Norterra, then go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what is happening in the Phoenix market. You can learn what is going on and you can stay up to date. My name is Samantha. My team and I help people every single day just like you make their move out here to Phoenix, Arizona and all the surrounding areas and cities and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking of making a move to Phoenix or if you just have questions and want to figure out if it's the right move for you or where the heck you want to move within the Phoenix metro area, then go ahead and reach out. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can hop on a Zoom call with us. All the information is in the description below. We'd love to hear from you. We are here and happy to help and answer all of your questions. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the map, show you all around the Norterra area so you can get a feel for how it's laid out, how to get around, where the best neighborhoods, uh, parks, shops, all of that are to offer. So we're gonna head back to the office because I am sweating like crazy. It is full on summer here in Phoenix right now. So we're gonna head back and check it out. So let's go. Okay, let's jump into checking out Norterra. So this is kind of the greater Phoenix area. Um, and then as you can see, this is Norterra right up here, just kind of North Phoenix. Now Norterra is not actually a city. It's kind of a suburb area part of Phoenix. So when you're looking at like the actual street address, it's in Phoenix, it's a couple of Phoenix zip codes and stuff like that. But Norterra, it's just kind of a, a general suburban area of it. So let's go ahead and zoom in. So it's kind of north of Phoenix. Um, Norterra is really nice. It's my part of town. I happen to live here. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, it is a little farther north. So like getting around, getting to different places does take a little bit longer if you're going to live this far north. But if you like that, then that's great. Uh, so it does have all of the shopping, dining, amenities. It's a really great part of town. It's starting to grow a lot because there are so many businesses uh, coming in here and building uh, big, you know, warehouses. There's a software chip manufacturer, like giant one going in right now. Uh, there's a lot of uh, call centers, kind of home bases for all these different big companies and stuff like that. And so because of that, the residential part has really started to grow. There's so many homes being built and it's really starting to grow and boom. So you have all the amenities and everything, but it's not like as you don't have to deal with like really bad traffic. Um, it's not as busy. You can always find parking really easily. So it's kind of like being in central or downtown Phoenix in terms of amenities, but you don't have to like fight for parking and it's a little more quiet, residential and laid back. So best of both worlds kind of. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and start where do we want to start let's let's start at the top we'll kind of work our way downwards a little bit i guess so um when it comes to a couple of the different neighborhoods if you actually want to see the neighborhoods the homes um all these different shopping centers and really like jump in and get a good feel for what it looks and feels like living in rotier you can check out the vlog tour that we did we actually go through all the neighborhoods check out homes different price points do a market update go around all the shops and parks and everything so you can actually get a really good feel for it um, so one of the big neighborhoods is the Marquis Asnorum Preserve, gorgeous neighborhood, really pretty community. Um, as you're going to get out kind of farther outside of the main Phoenix area, you're going to have bigger homes, bigger yards, more space. Your money's going to go a little bit farther and Norterra is no exception. And so right up in here, it's going to be a couple of the neighborhoods that we checked out where you're going to have um, those big, beautiful homes. There's kind of a mix of the big single family homes, uh, one and two story homes, as well as some different condos, apartments and townhomes all in this area. So you have Valley Vista uh, as well as the Marquee at Sonora and Preserve, which are a couple really beautiful communities, big, beautiful homes and newer for the most part. Notera kind of started being built up in the early 2000s, um, but now in the past like five years, it's really started to explode and there's tons of building going on all over the place because there are so many more people 
uh, moving over here in this area. So as we kind of zoom in and check a little bit more about this area, okay, here's a couple different things. So Union Park, oh my gosh, Union Park is such a gorgeous neighborhood. This is one of the brand new neighborhoods. It's still being built. There's a lot of um, parts of it that are still dirt, but there are multiple companies that are doing new builds all in this neighborhood. It's gonna be a huge planned community. Um, right now here, let me show. Okay, so right now they have like this, this little bit here is built the rest, like all of this, all of this. It looks small, but it's big in real life. It's still yet to be built out. So there's gonna be a ton of homes in here and they are gorgeous, like high end, beautiful, brand new homes, really big, like giant yards, the works, like the picket fences and everything. So they are really, really beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and a lot of people are looking to move in this neighborhood. I actually had friends who bought a home in this neighborhood two, I think it's two years ago now, right? Like right before the pandemic started, um, they bought a home in here and it's gorgeous. I mean, she has amazing style of stars. So their house literally looks like it came out of a magazine. It's awesome. <laughs> and so one of the main shopping and kind of hubs of Norterra is right here in the center. So it's called the shops at Norterra. Very very accurate name, <laughs> but they're going to have all the shopping, dining, everything you could possibly want. There's uh, the movie theaters. There's a Texas Roadhouse if you want. They have chain and mom and pop shops. So if chains are your thing, we have Texas Roadhouse, Olive Garden. I just love going ham at an Olive Garden every once in a while. Like OG just does it for me. <laughs> no shame. I will fill up on the breadsticks and soup and then take my pasta to go. But I love me some Olive Garden every now and then. Uh, they also have Angry Crab. They've got obviously like IHOP and stuff like that. There's Panda Express, very important. Always gotta have one of those. Um, there's Starbucks. There's a couple different fast food places, some pizza places, stuff like that. Ooh, the best Greek food, Greek pita. This is like a one-off mom and pop shop. That's probably why it's so good. Uh, if you like brunch, they have an ecstasy over here. They also have a State 48 Brewing, which is amazing um, beer and hamburgers. They have this cool outside patio area, all these games and stuff. So everyone's always like taking family and kids and just going and hanging out over there. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see a few of these places. That's kind of my favorite my favorite part of the shops in our terrace. So uh, Sephora, for anyone who's into makeup, I'm not good at it, but I like looking at everything. This is my favorite local coffee shop here, Elevate Coffee. They are super involved in the community. They do a lot of giving back and community involvement, which is really cool. And the coffee is incredible. So that's where I always go whenever I'm in the area. Uh, Bath and Body Works, because you gotta have your candles. Um, and then right next to it is this place called Urban Boba. And if you're into boba, this is like the best boba in all of North Phoenix. So I'm always going over there. Uh, all the shops and everything that you need, like so lots of dining, whether it's um, like uh, mom and pop shops, one-off places or chains. Of course you have Home Goods you need to home goods and TJ Maxx nearby. So they've got one there. So basically I, they've got everything. They have Lowe's, they have uh, Target, they have the distillery, which is a really good um, new little brewery that opens. So they have all the dining, the shopping, um, the convenience, if you need uh, gas or there's a bunch of hotels around for some reason, they have a lot of hotels in the area, probably because of all the big companies when they bring people in for conferences and stuff, they need a lot of places for people to stay. Um, there's auto body shops, kind of everything that you're gonna need as well as some really good uh, medical care. Oh, and schools. Let's talk about schools really quickly. So it is kind of more residential. It's family friendly and stuff like that. And because of that, obviously schools are going to be an important part of it. So a couple of schools in this area is Jefferson uh, Preparatory High School. You have Brightmont Academy. That's actually an online virtual schooling system. This is their headquarters, but they do virtual school. They're uh, really highly rated for the area. Uh, you have the Sandra Day O'Connor. Uh, high school as well as Stetson Hills Elementary School over here. So here are a couple of the top schools that are in the area. Um, if schooling is important to you, some of the higher rated schools in the area. Now I talked about a lot of businesses has come, talking too fast. A lot of businesses have come in um, in the past like 10, 15 years. And that is why this place is really starting to grow and expand. So USAA, uh, which is like, you know, the big bank stuff for veterans, they have uh, one of like the, their huge headquarters for the state of Arizona is here. And it's a massive building. You have one of the Cigna headquarters. Uh, you have Farmer Insurance who have a giant uh, call center over here as well. Up in here, just off the 303, um, where is it? Uh, it's a little, oh, here we go. Okay, so it's a little farther north. So up here, 
is a giant chip factory that's going in. It's a little outside of the Ontario area, but that's gonna bring a ton of jobs that should be done in 2024, they're thinking. Um, so that's gonna bring an insane amount of uh, jobs and additional business uh, here as well. So if we zoom back in really quickly, a couple other places I just wanna point out to you guys really quick is uh, right over here, we just are on the other side of the I-17. This is one of the main highways. So if you're going in and out of town, we'll show you in a minute to get to airports and downtown Phoenix and everything, that is the main um, highway that you'll probably be taking. That's like the highway I'm on every single day to get in and out of Norterra. But over here you have the Arizona Sports Complex. This is um, if you have kids or yourself, if you are into sports, they do tons of kids, adults and community um, sports all the time here every different sport every different se every different season it's a huge complex and it's right next to the paseo highlands park right over here um so that's an awesome place to check out and then also hurricane harbor which is a giant water park um if you are here in the summer <laughs> it's brutal you really can't go outside unless you have a pool you have to stay inside it's 115 degrees there's not a lot to do outside in the summer which is rough so um hurricane harbor um sun splash big surf like all these giant water parks are really busy in the summer so it's fun to check out if you haven't ever seen it before and a lot of people We'll go uh, hang out there during the day to enjoy actually getting out of the house but still staying cool at the same time okay a couple more things really quick where's okay so if you have dogs i have two little corgi puppies so i'm always in the videos like showing where there's like cool dog parks so they have the deer valley dog park uh right here which is just a little bit south and then over here it is outside of norterra um but about like 10 minutes from Norterra is the Pinnacle Dog Park. This is the one that I take my little corgis to all the time. It's their favorite dog park. It's really big. They have an awesome um, dog park area. And there's actually like a lot of other corgis there too. So we have like little meetups sometimes. It's super cute just watching like little corgis run around like crazy. Um, and then there is the Phoenix Deer Valley Airport. Now this is not an airport that you will likely be actually using <laughs> if you're gonna be um, traveling for work or for business. This is kind of a smaller airport. It's gonna be smaller um, private planes, more kind of like little domestic ones you're not going to be doing a ton of different uh flights in and out of here you will hear the air traffic though which is why i wanted to point it out occasionally they are smaller planes they're not really loud but they're going in and out throughout the day so that's just kind of something to be aware of if you don't like hearing kind of distant small planes every now and then just kind of keep that in mind in north area you're going to hear it uh, but they do allow you they have a cool little restaurant and cafe you can actually sit they have other uh, cafe has just like windows on every side so you can actually just sit and chill have some lunch and you can actually get to watch the planes land and take off and everything like that We've my nephew a couple times he really likes airplanes oh my gosh sorry speaking of my corgis that's them playing outside the door with their toys sorry ignore that uh, my nephews really like um airplanes and so sometimes we'll take them we'll do lunch and they just sit and watch the uh watch the airplanes fly and they love that they get a kick out of it okay i think that is just about everything for the actual monetary area now like i said i want to show you how close it is to uh the airport so if you are going to be flying for travel for work whatever it is the phoenix sky harbor international airport that is the main airport for the Phoenix metro area. That's the airport you're going to be flying in and out of uh, most of the time, most likely. So if you are heading here from Norterra, typically it's anywhere from about 30 minutes, sometimes 45 with traffic. Um, okay. Yep. It's shown right here, 26 minutes. If you're going to be taking the I-17. So while I'm filming this right now, it's right at rush hour. So um, it's not showing up on the map as rush hour though. There's no like of the yellow, the yellow and red that you're going to see with traffic. Typically, if it is during rush hour, plan to be closer to 45 minutes, maybe like on the long end. Here's the thing is the 17 isn't too bad because you're going against traffic. This is the downtown Phoenix area. And at rush hour in the evenings, all the traffic is coming back out because people are coming home. Uh, from traffic. So usually you're going against traffic when you're trying to get to uh, the airport for the most part, unless you're going in the morning, in which case that's going to suck. But the 10 right here, um, this little highway right here. Okay. I have a bajillion lines. Sorry. This highway right here, and you have to cross it for this little section. The 10 is one of the worst highways in traffic like that, that gets gridlocked. It's stop and go. It's rough. So over, if you ever have to be on the 10, um, plan to be sitting in traffic for a little bit during rush hour. So anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes for the airport. So just kind of keep that in mind if you are traveling to and from the airport, uh, often with uh, travel for fun, for work, whatever. Um, and then if you are gonna be heading into other parts, so in relation to downtown, same thing, about 30 minutes to get you to downtown um, Phoenix. If you're going to Scottsdale over here, you're gonna take the 101 from Norterra, take it all the way down to Scottsdale. It's about 30 minutes to Scottsdale. Um, if you are trying to get to kind of more East Valley areas, let me back up a little bit. So if you're trying to get over to places like uh, Tempe, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, um, Tempe and Mesa, 
about 30 to 45 minutes. Gilbert and Chandler, at least 45 minutes, sometimes an hour, depending on traffic. If you're heading over to Peoria and Glendale, those are about 20, 30 minutes from Norterra. So it just depends where you're gonna be going. If you're gonna be living in Norterra, commuting for work, just kind of keep that in mind. You can always hop on here to Google Maps, kind of map it out, see how far your office is uh, potentially from where Norterra is if you're thinking about living there. Again, if you want to see what it's actually like, get a good feel for Natera, all the different areas, the neighborhoods, the shops, uh, the parks, everything like that, go check out that vlog tour that we did. Hopefully this kind of gave you a good idea of how things are laid out, where kind of the, some of the main points are, and uh, hopefully answer some of your questions. But if we didn't answer questions that you have about Natera or anywhere else, let us know in the comments or you just reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We are here and happy to help answer your questions or help you make a smooth move here to one of the Phoenix areas. I think that is about it for this video. I need to wrap it up because I'm just rambling at this point. So this is that this is oof, this is it for this video. Hope it helped. Go check out the vlog tour if you want to learn more. And until next time, we hope to see you soon.